Hi everybody, Dave from Prairie Bay. Just coming back to you. I wanted to hit the age old classic, the vodka and gin martini and the multiple different variations that there is of it. But first we'll start off with building the cocktail. Start off with our martini glass. I'm gonna hit the bottom of that with a little bit of ice. Let that ice sit in there. Grab a little bit of soda water. What this is gonna do is it's gonna bring the chill from the ice all the way through the glass. So when you, when you get your spirits all ready to pour into the glass, you're not pouring it into a warm temperature, a room temperature glass. Grab your shaker. I'm gonna grab ounce and a quarter jigger. I'm gonna be using our Tito's Handmade Vodka, one of my favorite vodkas to use in a nice martini. We're gonna go one, Two. This is going to give us two and a half ounces of our favorite vodka in the bottom of the shaker. Hit this with a little bit of ice. Now, everybody knows the James Bond shake and martini, but what that does to a martini as compared to stirring it gently as I'm doing, is when you're shaking it, you're incorporating air and breaking down the ice and changing the, the flavor of the alcohol that you're using. So right here, I've got it shaken up, a good chill. I'm gonna set that off to the side. I'm gonna get rid of the ice and water that's in there. Grab a little bit of a dry vermouth. Hit just a little bit in the bottom. And I'm gonna swirl that around the glass, just coating the outside of the glass real nice. Now the difference, you'll hear people order dry martinis as compared to a wet martini. Now the it's confusing because you think a dry martini is gonna have more of the dry vermouth when in reality it's not gonna have any of the dry vermouth. Strain your chilled spirits into the bottom of your glass. Set that off to the side and garnish with your favorite martini garnish. Now you'll see I've got another one set up here with another chilled martini glass that I'm gonna actually shake the spirits. Into the shaker, hit the top, shake it up real nice. And what this is doing is it's breaking down the ice and it's gonna water down the spirits that are in the bottom of your glass. You'll notice from the pour the difference in clarity. the difference between the shaken and stirred martini.